Hello, welcome to this new video. My name is Martina Vincenzi and I am the founder of the VIP Flight Attendant Academy Private Jet Coach. Today I would like to reveal you a secret and it's uh, about empty sectors. What actually happens on board a private jet when there are no customers on board and the crew is just uh, by themselves alone. So first of all, um, a little bit of terminology that it might help you better understand uh, what, is, uh, what is about. We have two different type of flights on board the private jet. That can be a live sector or that can be an empty sector. Live sector is meant to be with customers on board. So actually you have passengers and, uh, and you take care of them, organizing catering, service, uh, beds if applicable, etc, etc. Uh, but sometimes you have multiple flights in a day and not all of them are necessarily live sectors. Some of them can be also empty sectors that are needed to position the jet somewhere else to pick up the customers or simply uh, you just left the customers somewhere and you are repositioning the jet onto another airport for tomorrow's flight, for example. So um, assuming that you have four sectors in a day, Usually there are 50-50, so one empty sector followed by one live sector, then again one empty sector, and the last one is a live sector. They can be also the other way around, obviously, one live, one empty, one live, one empty. Uh, however, this is how it works, so not all the flights on board the private jet are with customers on board. So, that say, what do you do when you are alone on board the jet? Uh, well, plenty of stuff actually. You have plenty of do, uh, plenty of things to do, and uh, you just have to choose between of them. Hopefully, you do them all. Um, first of all, what I do, uh, I, I just get comfortable. So I remove the shoes and I put on uh, slippers. Uh, usually, I collect the slippers from the hotels. I lose my hair. I uh, I'm a tea lover, so any time is a tea time. So I definitely prepare myself a cup of tea, no matter what. And then I start organizing all the tasks that I need to do. Uh, for example, reorganization of the galley or um, just tidy up or maybe do a deep cleaning of the cupboards, uh, drawers uh, and uh, e everything everywhere. Uh, even the wardrobe, for example. You can uh, take out everything, clean, uh, deep clean everything and then uh, re, uh, put it back again. Uh, you know, tidying up and, uh, and having a look that everything is in there. You can do an inventory of the equipment that are on board the private jet. Uh, usually we do this about once a month just to check, properly check how many forks, how many knives, uh, how many spoons, etc, etc, you have on board. And in case something got lost because uh, you accidentally throw it away because uh, you gave the dishes to be washed by the uh, by the handlers at the airport and uh, they lost it somewhere in the dishwasher or whatever they could maybe confused and give one fork of your jet to another jet so whatever happened is uh, this is not the the matter uh, you just have to find out uh, if everything is up to standard up to the stock that is supposed to be on board the jet and then eventually replenish what is missing we also um, take a chance uh, during this empty sector to check all the expiration dates of anything that you can possibly put in your mouth. So food, beverages and medicines as well. Uh, not the first aid kit, obviously, this is uh, sealed and this is responsibility of the maintenance team. However, there are some pouches of, let's say, generic uh, medicines, generic tablets and uh, uh, medication that you can take for, for example, for a headache. Uh, and therefore, you need to double check that they are uh, still valid and, uh, and usable. Um, in case something is, has expired, you throw it away and then you complete a list, like a shopping list, of whatever you need to replenish before the next flight. I usually take chance of the uh, empty sectors to fold the laundry because it's a very long and time-consuming activity. I like to do that and take my time to do that properly uh, so that every time that I just open a drawer, I can find all my tablecloths, all my napkins, uh, my bed sheets ready to be used. So uh, you need to have the time to do that and uh, empty sectors are actually the perfect timings. 
um, we relax as well. So, you know, an empty sector can be any length. It can be an eight hours flight from, uh, from New York back to Europe. It can be 40 minutes. It can be 10 minutes. It can be whatever. It depends. It really depends where you are and what you're doing. So, um, if the flight is particularly long, nobody is expecting you to work eight hours all in one shot on the jet. You know, you can also take a couple of hours for yourself to relax, maybe take a nap, eat and uh, uh, read a book or watch a movie. Um, of course, you check on the flight deck every now and then just to make sure that they are fine. So this is also something that we do on a regular basis or in particular during empty sectors. And uh, uh, yeah, as soon as we land uh, anywhere we are supposed to land, before landing, I just get ready for landing again. So I remove the slippers and I put back my, my shoes. Uh, I adjust my, fi my, I fix my hair and I fix my makeup as well. So as soon as we land, I still look tidy, ready and uh, professional as it is supposed to be. Um, I hope that this was a nice revelation about what we are doing during empty sectors on board a private jet. If you have any questions regarding business aviation, private jet and the life of VIP flight attendant or VIP pilot, please do not hesitate to reach out and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bachi bachi!